beautiful souls. Soul Whisperer here, coming with the tarot tip that takes a snapshot of the energies that I tap into in this moment. And it's my intention that it give us a peek at the energy of August 23rd through August 31st, right on up to the end. It's not meant for any particular person or sign, so keep that in mind. Whatever pricks you, go within to your inner divine and contemplate how you apply it for you in the best way. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are well and happy and you are doing all that is needed to remain senior in your environment. And if you're new, welcome. Please subscribe, press the bell there. You'll get a notification for when I release a video, go live, or I um, create a post on my community page. How's everything going? I pray that all is well in your world. It's great with me. Just very interior, very focused in on the world I'm creating and what I want to see and keeping all the hubbub, you know, at bay in my consciousness. Today I'm using, actually I'm not remembering quite the name of this deck because it's been separated from the box for a long time. I think it's the spell casters or I'm not sure. And I will get a message from um, Signs of the Time Oracle to go with it. Spirit Posse, seeking a message for the gathered for the tarot temp for August 23rd through the 31st. Paint a picture of the energy we might meet at this time and what are our best steps to moving through that period of time in the smoothest, most easy way. Give us the message most in need of being expressed, one that encourages, supports, guides, directs, helps, motivates, even gives caution if we need it. The best message for these ones at this time, for that time, and do so clearly that I may deliver it that way and make me an instrument of thy peace, thy truth, thy joy, and thy love. Now, 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 and now, oh yes, and so it is. Mm. You could read my mind. 
was on your face and then I'm from the eighties. Someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel farther away. Wait on a moment to say that I want you. You know that I want you. Oh, uh. Okay. One major arcana card, two major arcana cards. Major arcana are your high, holy help, aspects of the universe stepping forward, weighing in with a certain energy that they are levying for us to take note of. Do this, don't do that, go this way, stay put, etc. Words of advice, love, blessings, and or caution. So they have a bit more weight. This week, the overarching energy is tree, representing ancestry. Interesting. And what this overarching energy is saying is that whatever you are going through this week, recognize that you have family, you have guidance, you have something strong that walks with you and moves with you that is um, family help, you could say. And it's asking you, there's that quote we have that says, I stand on the an on the shoulders of my ancestors, meaning were it not for them, I couldn't be where I am. I couldn't have access to what I have access to now. How I use it, of course, is something else. But that's what they have made possible for me. And I give thanks. And this week, that energy is with you, letting you know that there is more than you with whatever is going on. There is more for you to remember and to acknowledge. Not that you have to do something in particular. You might want to, you know, if you have an ancestor altar, you might want to work with that this week in an extra way or offer something to them. But it's not required. It's an acknowledgement that you, you know, you are not left without you have guidance that comes with you, that moves forward with you. And one day you will be a part of that crew moving forward to your progeny that come ahead of you. So this says, um, and it reminds us about the tree, an ancestral tree. A tree has roots. It's strong. It's the foundation. It's the strength that feeds and connects and communicates with others in its network. And it's very rooted and sturdy and durable. And this is the energy that's there with us. And we have to remember it this week, especially if things, you know, we might run into a little uh, issues. I'm just going to read this much. Honor those ancestors who came before you, as well as their strengths and struggles, triumphs and traumas. Do that by living in your purpose and learning more about where you come from. The tree is a symbol also of longevity and the desire to build a legacy and generational wealth for your family. So honor that. If you're called to put up an altar or develop deeper connections with living family members, this is a good opportunity to go on and do that. It also could indicate a family or legacy related matter that needs your attention, possibly involving property, inheritances, or uncovering a truth from the past. You may be the one who has been assigned the task of breaking generational curses. Wow. Interesting energy to just come forth at this time. Well, all righty then. I see cards in here this week that remind us about staying in balance. And the undergirding energy is one of these. This is the energy of the Two of Swords. And it's about being in balance in your mind. It's about taking a beat 
before you choose to act or do something. You can see this being is ready to act. But again, she's pausing before she actually climbs up on that boulder to take off. Okay, you've got to get in a sort of centered place so you can be more aware of the help you have around you. And maybe also, because I don't really know if this wolf is uh, her, you know, her uh, ride or die being partner, or if it's potential um, coming after her. So yeah, it's about being in a focused place mentally with not a lot of things so that you can be aware of the guidance you are getting from your ancestors or the guidance you're getting from your own intuition that is really propelling you forward. And that's the sort of raison d'etre, the reason for the energies that are here. Interesting. So with that ancestral energy, um, we are needing to be aware of, we know we have that energy and it's covering us. Um, but as we move into the week, the energy of our first of two major arcana cards is at hand. And it's the energy of the Hierophant. This is the teacher, the spiritual advisor. Maybe we are in need of uh, seeking this energy out or being mindful because the ancestors are with us, that they may be directing us to higher guidance, further guidance. And so the Hierophant represents that wisdom, that exoteric knowledge about keeping the traditions and keeping the ways that we have, you know, used to stay guided to stay um, connected to an awareness that there's something greater than us. And this is a symbolic representation of that. This can be a teacher in the world for you, or maybe a friend or family member who has a lot of spiritual power and wisdom. So this energy is there, and it could be that it is working in sync with your ancestors who are just there in the mix, wanting the best for you. And you need to honor that. And one way may be to, like I say, make an altar if you don't have one. But with the Hierophant energy, it may be asking you to seek out higher guidance in the form of a, a spiritual advisor or to read a holy book or to really get into the depths of yourself in search of higher spiritual guidance and wisdom. Potential challenges or the obstacles that may arise is represented here by the Knight of Swords, the Lightning Knight, as I call him. Always quick to move, always going to act first and think later. That's why this undergirding energy is reminding us you've got to be in balance. You've got to not make a choice or, or act if you aren't aware of, you don't want to act on impulse. And this is saying that there may be that push this week that wants us to like I say, act now, think later. And sometimes it's a it's a it's a good energy, an okay energy, because sometimes that energy is all about, you know, seeing something and moving out there and taking care of it before it can, you know, really most most people aren't seeing it, but this being is. This could also rep represent a person that you might have in your world or run into this week who has this energy of being pushy and rushing forward and rushing you forward. So be mindful that you don't want to let that energy get in the way. And you won't if you're acting out of a place of, you know, pause and then decide. And you're acting out of a place where you are being guided by higher wisdom than this energy, a divine wisdom, a spiritual wisdom represented by the Hierophant. And what we have helping us with that this week is also another card of balance. It's the two of pentacles. And this is the energy you can see he's balancing on the log while he's kind of juggling different things in his hand. And it might be that you are feeling this, but this is a, is a help for us. So even if you're feeling impulsive or you're feeling a need to do something, you know, and you feel the rush forward, this is the energy of grounding you. Uh, into a greater balance. This is the energy of telling you whatever it is, because it's a blessing, you can handle it. You can manage it this week. So don't be overcome by that, that mind energy telling you, do it, do it, do it, or you better do it now or else. This is the energy that's saying, yeah, it may be a little challenging, 
but I'm, you know, I'm at ease. I'm not rushing pentacles energy. I'm at ease. I'm balancing. See, look at me. I'm on one leg and I'm also balancing and juggling things that I have to do. So as a blessing for us this week, it means that we'll be able to manage the energy, however it comes through for us wanting to push us forward or make us think we have to do something that we don't have to do. To a pinnacle says, steady, easy does it. Who said you have to do something? You got this. Stay connected. Stay connected to the earth. Stay connected to that hierophant wisdom, that wisdom and guidance that is present in some way in your world this week. And, you know, uh, what is spirit trying to tell us? It's saying that with this energy, the six of swords, whatever is happening, it won't, you know, it'll be a minute happening. So your test is kind of like to get to understand you're going to get through safe passage past the whatever that niggling thing is that's making you feel like I got to make a choice. I got to do something. I got to act right now. And you're doing it without that wisdom, that spiritual wisdom. You're doing that from impulse because there's that Knight of Swords energy. And this is telling you that you're going to get to a peace of mind this week. So your inner guide is saying, pay attention, pay attention to me, pay attention to those ancestors that are gently there hovering, reminding you that you, you've got what you need, that you're moving forward in this week, no matter how seemingly chaotic it feels that makes you want to act on impulse and you've got so many things that you overwhelm your mind. Peace, peace be still, is what this card is saying. It's telling you that everything's all right. You just need to know that. Come back and Look at this again if you seem to get lost in the sauce, so to speak. Now, the energy that is representing actions to take this week and how to make lemonade out of lemons this week is represented by our second major arcana, El Diablo. And this energy is saying, take a look at where your you know, that impulse to act and not think and do all of those things comes from an impulse of fear and anxiety. And it comes to a feeling that your only solutions are in the world. You know, that you are connected to thinking that the answers that you need are just in the world. And the devil wants it that way. He wants you to stay bound to this reality, thinking that the higher guidance, and that's why the hierophant is so strong this week. This is spiritual power that you have at your hand in the form of a person or some, like I say, holy book or, or something that you can turn to because the devil wants you to think you don't really have it. Everything, your solutions are here. Figure it out from the mundane. Figure it out here. Stay bounded to a notion and an idea that there's nothing more but what's in front of you. These are your cynics. These are your people who are, you know, deciding that you know, believing in something higher and greater may be uh, just foolish, foolishness. So what you do this week is you look at those temptations that you might have to fall into fear, fall into old habit patterns, fall into behaviors uh, that are, you know, not elevating. You know, if you tend to want to turn to and take a little bubbly, you know, because you, you're feeling pressed, this is the impulse of the devil doing that. So you are to suddenly be aware. This energy is looming. And remember that you've got to find balance in this energy to know you'll get through to cooler waters. Remember, you have the help on the outside and you have the help with you. So the devil doesn't stand a chance because you're going to catch yourself in whatever your habitual rhythms and routines are to keep you tethered to thinking the answers for you are here. If only I can get this interview, or if only I can, you know, uh, do this, then she or he will call me or whatever it is that's got you troubled this week. The devil likes it like that. And he keeps his foot on your neck. So you won't remember. So this week you are being reminded to when you feel that impulse snap to wake up. Know that this is a temporary moment we are going through. We're about to end this month. We're about to go into something new and something more for ourselves to the degree that we keep our mind in balance, to the degree that we don't take action and rush out and do things. We take that pause. We take that beat. We know that we're grounded because we say so. We acknowledge it. We can get through whatever seems to be wanting us to think there's too much. 
There's too much. And we got all kinds of outer and inner help to help us get through. So what do you think? Sounds like uh, there'll be a little pressure this week. A little, you know, what do they say? You've got an angel, you know, on this shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder. I don't know which one is which. And there you go. This is the spiritual representation of the divine in the world. And this is the world telling you that there is no God. All right. You know better. It's just a momentary thing you fall into, but you're going to get to that promised land. All righty. That's the message. May it bless you. May you be able and willing to use it. May it be as food for thought and a little light and inspiration on the way. And my friends, remember always to keep your thoughts high. Keep your emotions in check. Stay in balance. Stay in peace. Remember the things that matter. You align with the divine in you. And you understand that you are one with it and everything is an expression of it. Everything is here about lessons for you and I to learn and to know and to remember. And we get all kinds of help on the outer, such as the Hierophant, and on the inner, such as the divine. So our connection and those symbolic connection comes from our ancestors this week. We're part of that oneness of the one. And until I see you, take good, good care. We are doing it. We're moving forward and we shall continue. And may we all be part and parcel of creating that world we're looking for. The one, as Reverend Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith says, that works for everyone. I'm in on it. How about you? See you in the next one. But for now, goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.